剣というにはあまりに大きすぎた大きく分厚く重くそして大雑把すぎた Ah, yes, the one and only Dragon Slayer. The one wielded by Guts in the manga series Berserk. Even if you haven't read or watched it, I think it's safe to say that Guts doesn't start out with the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, he goes through quite a few swords, but the one that stuck with me is his Hawk Raider sword, which he wielded during the Golden Age arc. Minor spoiler alert. It is the sword that slayed 100 men. Also, I've always wanted a sword, even since I was like three or four. So, I started to look at katanas, and to get a decent one, I would have to dish out some serious cash. So, might as well spend that on making my own sword. You know, one that I won't have to clean or resharpen after each use. I went to Amazon and、uh, found the cheapest welder I could find. I haven't welded since middle school, but、uh, I figured I had to weld some of the, the parts onto the sword, so there we go. Ideally, for the heavy cutting, I would have a, like a table saw or a, like a band saw for, for metal cutting, but that wasn't in my budget, so I had to get this.、Uh, and it's going to be doing all of my cutting, even for like the very thick, thick pieces of the. The handguard that are in there. All right, I'm about to get started cutting. I decided to go with the full tang design instead of like, I don't know, welding on like a metal cylinder as the handle. Hopefully to save some time and just to keep the weight down, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I marked that out. 1.5 inch diameter for this right here, which will be the, the handle. And then the rest is the blade. And please bear with me, I don't have a workbench or anything like that. So this is the best,、uh, uh, best I can do. Prettiest of cuts, but uh, what is it? That time for the end. All right, it's the second day. Of the build project. Still got a lot to do. Right now, today I'm gonna prioritize stuff with the handguard. I'm gonna try to get that cut today and do what I need to do with it, and then I think I'll end up finishing the rest of the blade,、uh, start sharpening it maybe? I don't know. I gotta figure out what order I wanna do things in, but yeah. So this thing in total is 18 inches across, so cutting in half is gonna make it nine. Nine inches of handguard with a four inch wide sword in the middle coming out. So that's the plan. Okay, I also made sure to mark off the corners because、uh, those also need to be cut too to make it look like the handguard in the manga.
right, I bought this as a, uh, a lower carbon content steel, so it's a lot softer, so it takes a lot quicker to saw through. Let's see if I can break this. There you go. Uh, I try to realign it at some point so that the cut is not that close. It's okay, I can take an angle grinder and just uh, clean it up. Alright, so I almost made a mistake. So I drew this as, as, as if I were supposed to cut along those lines, but I flipped the perspective. So this is what you're looking at. If I were to cut it like this, it was supposed to be coming from here. Uh, I'll add a picture to make it make more sense, but I need to redraw the lines so that I can cut um, like pretty much the corners off right here. Maybe this makes more sense. So if the sword's coming out right here, these need to be cut off like that. This is the top D. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Finally found some clamps. All right, got a little bit sunny out front, so I moved to the back. Working on the second piece now. Uh, what I've done is just scored it down like that, so whenever I cut down, it'll just pop out, make it a bit easier, especially uh, as my blade gets a little shorter. One side down, one more to go. Kind of ugly, but it's okay. I'll uh, grind it back down to make it look nice. All right, both sides have now been cut. Now it's time to grind it down, make it more polished, make it a bit more even. Because this side's a little bit longer than uh, the other one. So yeah, time to clean it up a bit. All right, so this is day three of working on it. I'm about to get started. Um, where I left off yesterday, I was just, I mean, yeah, I was just grinding the edges. This part's the worst part right here. Um, it's not as symmetrical because uh, I cut it pretty badly. I think it was my first cut, but the rest of them are okay, you know. I just uh, grinded them down just to get the general shape. I'll clean it up later. But I have a feeling it's going to end up looking, you know, kind of, I don't know, like it's not going to be like a piece of art or anything, but I think it's maybe fitting for Guts' sword, so yeah. And if you see here, so this is lined up, but if you go to the other side, it's a bit longer on one side, so I think I'll just uh, take the cutter and just cut that tiny little piece off, a few millimeters right there. And then after that, I'm going to measure across like up and down here for the bolts uh, I'll pull up a picture but uh, I'll use bolts or carriage bolts to to get that sort of look uh, five on the top five on the bottom same on the back side and then eventually I'll cut a sort of slit down the middle to get, also get that same look which is also going to be very hard because uh, I don't really have like a Dremel tool to get down there to further sand it down and clean it out but Oh well, you know, we, we, gotta, we gotta make do, so. <clears throat> and then yeah, then I'll work on cutting the other piece that'll go in between to make it level, and then stick the sword in, and then weld everything together, and voila. But uh, a lot to do today. It started raining out of nowhere. Now that it's raining, I should probably go out in a full sprint and run into a field and just lay down. Actually, uh, I'm gonna do this part first. This is like what I call like the filler in between um, the handguard to make it level when I sandwich the handguard in between. So I need to cut these into two. And here, actually, hold on. Okay, just to visualize, like I'm gonna cut out those two pieces 
that will fit here and fit here. They're the same thickness as the blade, so that way when I put the other half of the handguard on top and I sandwich it, it'll all be level and I'll just weld everything together. Okay, I realize it's gonna take forever, so uh, I need to go get a Dremel tool. But uh, I started carving it out. Um, yeah, I'll probably finish this tomorrow whenever I have the Dremel tool. I'm just gonna work on drilling the holes for the bolts right now and do whatever else I can for today. I really wish, uh, I really wish I had a freaking drill machine thing, a mill. Gotten six holes so far. Got to do s more holes on this side and then on the other part of the handguard over there. But man, it takes so long with just a a freaking that thing. Ugh. Okay, uh, I was on the second handguard and the drill battery died, so I'm gonna stop with that for tonight. I think. Yeah, I think I'm done for today. Okay, uh, I just had a huge breakthrough. Uh, I realized this idea was stupid, right? Trying to cut through the middle of this without like a milling machine and just use the angle grinder. That's gonna take it forever. It's gonna look ugly, whatever. I went back to go watch Michael Cthulhu's video. He's like the one I've been using as a tutorial on how to make this sword. And what he did, he just welded two separate pieces in order to create the gap. I was just gonna cut like straight like an idiot all the way like an indentation all across this thing that's gonna take forever and you don't have the tools for that but i do have some extra metal laying around and if i just cut this in half okay uh day four a little late start but whatever change of plans yeah i think i mentioned this last time but yeah i'm gonna cut that down the middle and i'm gonna shave it down so that way it looks like an indent instead of just trying to carve it out like this because that's nonsense but yeah here we go all right, a little minor setback. The flange got stuck, but uh, we got it off. Finally! Oh my god. Now, time to get the angle grinder and go along that line to make the invention. All right, it's coming along. Gonna sand that down. And then weld it right along that. Pretty nasty right now, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna sand and take a break. Check it out, guys. Time to weld. I wanted to practice first. I've not welded since. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, my helmet's falling down. Okay, I have not welded since middle school, but I wouldn't say that's too bad, huh? I had a lot of trouble trying to start the arc, but yeah. Alright, uh, finished welding it. Well, it's super ugly, but uh, I'll let it cool down before I grind everything down. <laughs> 